Okay. That's a great way to get into now about the next the next half at eight fifty what? Eight fifty what? Eleven We're on Pacific time, baby. Twenty yeah. twenty fifty two. Yeah. Um, so that gives us to the next the next topic, which is gonna be um, like the kind of colors of, of socks that we choose. And then you know, we can also talk about like the patterns and whatnot. Um and so I'll I'll st- what the hell is that sound? What that was the hell's probably going me on? opening up the window. I'm gonna go refill my water right quick. Okay, go I for it. I can still hear you guys. Don't worry about it. Um, so for me, I have a you know I like a lot of variety in my in my sock colors. You know, again, I'm very I when I was getting into menswear or classic menswear, uh, I was very inspired by like Drakes and everything. And so those guys love their 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 fun like solid colored socks. And I wrote a whole article about it. I'm sure someone. Uh, maybe MJ, if he's not playing a video game right now, could link <laughs> the article on fun socks in there into the chat. Um, but you know, I kind of go in there. I talk about each of like my favorite songs. I mean, I'm sure that there's a lot of other colors I haven't talked about, but you know, that, those ones kind of hit the main the main ones that I enjoy. You know, obviously, not one of my favorite ones are the purple socks because those, you know, again, are very Drake's, um, you know, not just a Michael Hill thing, but like that was literally my favorite color. And for those of you who don't know, I had a black studded belt that had, you know, black and purple studs in it from yes. Hot Topic. And I also, when I got, when I, I got my, red, uh, <laughs> when I got my <laughs> braces, you know, when, when you do braces, they can, they can ask them what color you want your bands to be. And I picked black and purple. Huh. So and for me, purple was always a very important thing. Uh, and so it was cool to see someone else wear it. I'm like, okay, I can do that too. So purple to me was like the fun sock, like my, and still is my go-to fun sock because it plays well against brown trousers, against gray trousers, against navy blue trousers, you know. And the the color, you know, purple is kind of like a regal color, but it's not like overly regal, like you know the red, which we'll, I'll get to in a second, uh, worn by uh, King George the Third in uh hamilton, in hamilton. Um, <laughs> but you know like but purple is like you know it's a color of royalty right so it's like it's one of those things that kind of come to mind um at least and so i love wearing them whenever i'm going for a more conservative i uh, think because i'm sure a lot of us will get into like what we wear with suits i tend to wear navy a lot like i know i i, I used to have like charcoal gray uh, as like my conservative one, but I felt like that was too boring. In general, I still don't have very many gray yeah, jackets like or gray. gray suits because even though it's conservative, it's conservative with the absence of color. And navy is conservative, but it inherently has color in it. So wearing a navy sock to me is is really cool. Um, and then of course, like spent, like I'll just said, when you match it with the color of your trouser, i.e., wearing a navy suit with navy socks, it has a very cool minimalistic vibe to it. Again, to me, it reminds me of you know a black. You know, back black hosiery with black flats, except navy because navy has a deeper color. Um, so that's kind of what I do with navy. Um, and then for fun, I, I first Spencer got um, like these mustard yellow socks. You know, uh, they're kind of like a, they're kind, they're not like super yellow. Uh, they're kind of like they're kind they're, of they're like, more se- like a, they're like that seventies yellow. I mean, I think it's sure. also is that Gen Z yellow? Is that what that is? I don't, I don't know what that is. Sure. It's like millennial but, pink, I, yeah. but I mean, I, that's one of my favorite colors in general. Like, I love that color for like sweaters and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. that like kind of dirty yellow of mm-hmm. like the seventies. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I love wearing those. I mean, um, uh, not again, not as much as Spencer does, but I wear those. Uh, I, I love like, in my dark, cart right now. I love dark green. Dark green is great mm-hmm. because dark green is you know related to the kind of dark blue family. Um, and so, like, that's kind of a fun one to do. I typically wear dark green ones for, like, fall, winter time. Um, and then uh, red. Red is one of my favorite ones to do uh, against, you know, wearing that with, like, dark colors. Like, um, well, actually with everything. Because, I mean, I don't typically wear trousers other than, like, gray, brown, and gray. Oh, sorry, uh, blue. And so yep. I don't like wearing red with brown because those are too similar, like, the kind of, like, earthier color but against red against navy is really cool and red against charcoal or, or shades of gray is really nice um and i definitely have certain socks i wear with certain shoes like i don't really wear yellow socks with loafers but i do wear them with like casual lace-ups you know like that's like one thing that i mm. do um and then I, I think i love wearing red more so with loafers because again I want that kind of like elegant you know there's a, I think there's a picture somewhere uh, I'm sure that 
my friend Castleberry took a picture of Alex. <laughs> back for a bit, guys. But Old Breath of the Ghost says the stream froze. The stream froze. I'm watching it. It's fine. What do you mean? Okay. Um, you're good on my end. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it's just you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not for me, like it's one you. second. Yeah. Um, but uh, but you know, I uh, like yeah, like wearing a red sock. I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere of a guy of like a guy in a tuxedo or you know wearing a dinner jacket wearing red socks and that to me was like the most badass thing i'd ever seen um and so i i love doing that uh when i when spencer and i went to lacma no no la phil we saw the um a concert at the la phil it was a dapper day event so people were encouraged to dress up we both wore dinner jackets and i wore red socks with that and they looked really cool against my uh my evening slippers which unfortunately are half size too small and i can't wear them anymore because hmm. I did not realize how small they were uh, when I first bought them, or when they first gave them to me. Did but that's me with colors somewhere? and socks. Spencer, what about you? Do you have any fun colors you like wearing? No, I mean, like I said, I love I love wearing the purple socks. I love wearing the bright yellow socks. Do you have a history with purple, like me? or Not really. Um, yeah, not really. Uh, a history. A <laughs> history. A herstory, actually. Um <laughs> But unlike unlike all this, I I have to have contrast with my socks. Um, yeah, like, I only do it. When I, well, when I like contrast too. No, uh, I like. I really, I, no, I, really I know you, you. It's not matching, but I like to have a lot. I like to have a lot of contrast. So like, I tend. Contrast? Yeah, I tend Absolutely. to wear the. I tend to wear the like brighter colors. Um, with casual stuff, it's almost always just white socks. I, I just like wh how white so socks look with sneakers. Um, but I mean, for for yeah, for like any any of the any of the brighter colors, like I love the green, like the greens and the blues and stuff. I really love in the fall and winter, obviously. Uh, but I mean, year round, I just wear that that like bright yellow, the like the green, the blue, whatever. Yeah, that idea of contrast is super strong to me because, mm -hmm. like, I think I tend to wear matching or, 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 you know, you know, navy with navy or whatever when I'm wearing a suit, and then when I'm wearing separates, I like the idea of of, uh, of contrast. Because I think when I would wear when I wear a suit, I still have contrast, but I don't wear one of the brighter colors. That's yeah. when I'll wear like the darker green, or you know, some like that. Right. Because yeah. I get, I mean, it, it's all about like the vibe you want to exude. Because I mean, like, if I'm doing like a minimalistic look, like if I'm wearing like a turtleneck with like trousers and a sport coat, I will wear like the matching. Or, you know, I'll wear like gray trousers with like a navy sock with like a black loafer. You know, like, that kind of goes together and kind of tone on tone thing. But then if I'm wearing like a brown check sport coat with like jeans, I might wear some purple in there or wear some yellow with some blue shoes or something. Because, you know, I'm, I'm playing up that kind of more casual separate vibe, you know? What about, yeah. so we don't know this, what about you, Jason? Um, so lately, I mean, I've pretty much been wearing the Uniqlo off-white rib sock for like, okay. we'll get into white the quarantine later. started. So super the off-white. I don't like the regular white, I like the off-white. That you know, He's a hype beast. Yeah, it really does it for me. Um, and then, maybe. but I also, uh, like, you know, working at the store, you know, I do have some Marco Liani socks. I tend to do, like, the the horizontal stripes. Um, okay. And then... Oh, yeah, uh, I think might be one of the few people in here that might wear pattern socks. I mean, I don't wear pattern socks. I do, so. but it has to be a certain kind. So, like, you know, I'm not one for the... Uh, I, I've had a lot of, like, you know, fun socks over the years. Um, but I, like, just threw them all away. But, like, the ones that I keep... Or the ones that I keep buying. Uh, I like the, the fun pattern socks from like Paul Smith. Are okay, the ones that I really awesome. like. Those are awesome uh, socks. Because it has a, it just has a sort of self awareness in the fun sock department. You know, I have like these like blue and yellow like cheetah print socks, uh, and it, it looks really cool with like my uh, burgundy cord suit. And but it, it has like that self awareness, like it's it kind of in on the joke of the fun sock, you know. It's not right. sushi or axes or you know those that oh, stupid thanks like. For, thanks for dragging me, by the way. No problem. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I do wear some, and they tend to I tend to like you know purples, blues, um, and like the oranges, you know, the the brighter colors, because uh, I think they look nice against you know. I mean, you guys, you, a lot of people have seen the suits that I wear. You know, I have that, like, you know, the brighter blue cotton. 
double breasted, which looks nice with, you know, white socks or, mm-hmm. you know, yellow, things like that, because it's already kind of brighter. You know, I'm not very conservative. Uh, I'm very uh, anti boomer. So, um, <laughs> and I'm, what, yeah, I'm punk rock. I didn't want to say it, you know. Yeah. I think, um, and I've also, I'm shaped a lot by, you know, dealing with like older guys in the store. I get super shaped a lot by them, you know, with the whole, like, oh, can you wear this with, like, a dress shoe? Y- you can do whatever you want, my man. Like, Anything is possible. It's like, you know, it's, it's we're looking at, like, a gray sock, and they're like, oh, but can I wear this with navy? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, is that a question? Every country. Are you... <laughs> yeah. Or they're like, you know, they're like, oh, but these are, these are a little too fun for me. You know, I'm, I'm a businessman. It's I'm too like, bold. And I'm like, shut up, like, get out, just leave. I don't want your money, leave. Just, I can't stand it. And so that's that's shaped so much of my outlook on, like, the minor accessories like that, where I'm like, who fucking, who cares? I think that happened to be at Men's Warehouse, and my favorite thing was that it was, um, it was a guy who came in and said, hi, I'm just looking for a couple ties for work. And I said, absolutely. And he said, it's like, I have, you know, I have pretty conservative taste, so don't show him anything too out there. And so I got him a couple selections and like he pointed at, he, like he was looking at like a red, like a red and white stripes tie. It was just like a red tie with like white stripes. And he said, it's like, oh, I would never be able to wear something as bold as this. <laughs> it was like that's crazy. crazy. That, that's my, that's a Christmas party. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, like, Jesus, my, man. My Valentine's Day. Yeah. Good Lord. But uh, what about the... Uh, um, Chris, do you have any uh, sock sock ops? things that you that you yeah, like? Sock ops. Yeah, do you have um, any sock ops? Um, I like, um, actually, I might be one. But I like to use. Um, I also like using pattern socks okay. once in a while because I'm a lot more on the casual side since I still go to college. But mm-hmm. I use a lot of those. Um, I use a lot of socks. But I also like using um, like graphic socks. Sometimes, like like the. Um, I think it's like. Or someone else, they did like these like prints of like artists and that kind of stuff. So I got mm. like those kind of socks that I still had from a while ago. Okay. Yeah, no, I really like using pattern socks because it kind of gets like breaks everything up. You know, it kind of gets like something that kind of like stands out a bit because my style is pretty yeah. much like really like subtle. You know, like okay. it's not too yeah. out there. So that's kind of like the thing that kind of like shouts. Gotcha. I mean, yeah, that I mean that makes sense, right? I think a lot of people. Uh, that I know who have more of a subtle style or more minimalistic style use socks as a fun way to kind of break out. I think that's also what it was originally too, right? Like the whole idea behind fun socks, oh, yeah. like, well, you know, you're wearing like a navy yeah. suit with your whole tan shoes. You got to have some sushi in there or something to make it interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think there's also there's a fine line between doing something that's like cool and like tasteful with the fun sock and yeah. you know being you know 2010. Oh, absolutely, yeah. No, there's, like, some, like, things that I guess, like, would not work. But yeah. you have to, like, really, like, look at them, and you have to really make them work with kind of, like, the outfit if you want to do that. But, right. Yeah. I'm, sl- I'm slowly moving away towards that because now I'm starting to, like, I want us to join the white sock bandwagon. Oh. Um, I'm going to get into that uh, in a second. Yeah, but, um, you know, I still wear them every once in a while, especially with sneakers and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of, like, the best way to get into the white sneaker or solid or uh, white the white uh sock uh, or solid sock uh, I don't let the wear. alpha see you in the white socks they will drag <laughs> you uh, especially if they're white uh, socks inside of white crocs they don't like that <laughs> <laughs> um kiyoshi why don't you tell us about what socks you like to wear like patterns and colors and stuff um so it kind of, kind of depends like if it's for work i actually dress Usually, mostly conservatively at work um, when I'm wearing a okay. suit. Um, I'm pretty basic. I just wear solid or pinstripe navy or blue and white shirts, usually a dark tie um, and with tassel loafers. So my sock game is pretty much mostly navy socks over the calf. Um, occasionally, if I'm like doing a blazer with like gray trousers, I'll wear charcoal socks. Um, hmm. Not too adventurous, um, but probably the most adventurous I get is uh, burgundy socks. I'm a huge fan of really the way nice. that burgundy looks yeah. with navy. Um, I think it's a very subtle way. It's not very shouty. 
Um, I think they look great if you were in like um, Shell Cordovan, like color number eight. Um, yep. With them, it's just kind of a natural, good looking, um, kind of demure, but fun uh, color yeah. to use. Um, I like, I, know yeah, I, like people, you know, I like, yeah, what? burgundy accessories. I know Ethan doesn't like them, but I, I have a lot of burgundy ties for that same kind of reason. Wait, I wear burgundy ties. I thought you didn't like red. Oh, you don't like red ties, but you do like burgundy ties. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah I don't wear a lot of like solid red ties or like solid red knits. But a lot of my full, my my some of my favorite foolards are burgundy foolard ties. Mm. Um, but yeah, idea. no. Yeah, I mean mm. burgundy socks. Uh, I think a couple of uh, if I'm not wearing, if for a suit, if I'm not wearing navy socks or purple socks, I will to wear my burgundy socks because it's a kind of like a it's a, yeah it is a little bit more understated compared to you know the purple it's also mm -hmm. not as you know demure as like a just like you know matching it with the navy so yeah purple uh, uh yeah I, I totally agree with the uh burgundy sock thing mg what about you i know that because you don't have to wear tailoring quite as often as the rest of us i mean or you choose not right. to um, mm -hmm. but what do you I mean, what do you wear yeah um i mean obviously what it what hasn't been said already, you know, down with the purple and the white. Um, Hell yeah, baby. I, that's, it. that's the game. I am I am kind of uh, uh, always down to wear my red socks. Um, and now that always I have, down the clown. Now that I have my uh, penny loafers, it's like I wear them like even more now. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you're in the Alden Ben. You're in Alden Ben right now. Alden Army. But yeah, I, I don't really wear. I don't. I don't think I even own pattern socks. Um, I I might have like an old like like gray argyle, probably that was like you know, that I have since like high school or something. But I don't really wear that anyways. So. Yeah, I think that you know argyle is a fun pattern because again, you know. I got started in vintage menswear and a lot of, you know, a lot of vintage uh, people like the Argyle sock, whether it's in the form of whether you're wearing it with your clip-on suspenders, or you're wearing it with your three-piece suit. You know, I it's love kind the of clip-ons, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but like I think my issue with Argyle is that it's cool on the side, but then it gets solid, you know, where your like your actual foot is, mm -hmm. right? On like the, it's, yeah. it's follow the the top of your foot, I should say. And I... so to me that looks kind of weird. And because I wear loafers a lot that kind of disconnect between the two uh, doesn't drive with me. I mean, I could wear Argyle with like Oxfords or, or casual lace-ups, but not, uh, you know, loafers. I am very, I, I'm not a huge fan of Argyle specifically because it's like so ubiquitous. I just oh, think it's like, like I just think it's like, oh, this is the, this is like, they, they have this on like at, by an accessory stand at Target. Or Macy's yeah. or whatever. It's the yeah. It's the, the you know what Ar sale section. You know the Macy's argyle that you from. like that you have on your like nineteen thirties like sweater or whatever nineteen forties sweater. Yeah, I like that kind of argyle where it's like either like brighter colors or like bigger patterns, or I guess like the kind of more minimal argyle where it doesn't cover the entire sock, but maybe it's like a strip going up or you know across something right. like that. I think you know. Sounds like, like you just don't Argyle, like it. Yeah, for Argyle, you gotta get it to the like. You, I think it's best if it's vibrant, uh, mean, but like I... but not too vibrant. Like I, I mean, like again, like my Argyle. One of the reasons I don't like my Argyle sweater, even though it's great from the '30s, it's just brown and yellow and red. Like it's too earthy yeah. to me. Like I, like, I think you know, like a blue base. I, I have a blue base mm -hmm. uh, Fair Isle one, but like a blue base Argyle. I think it's kind of cool. If it's done right, because also blue base argyle can be kind of dad or grandpa from like the nineties or something, you know. So yeah, I mean, a pattern socks like that are definitely hard to wear. I wouldn't do like I mean, I know some people like herringbone socks, which to mm. me are okay, more so if they're like a heavier wool or like a like a wool blend, and you wear them with like you know casual bluchers, you wear them with boots and that kind of thing. But I can't really imagine wearing them with loafers because I like again. I can't emphasize this enough, but for me, it's always going to be like the hosiery um, and like women's flat yeah. kind of combination yeah. thing. And to that, you need, you know, a solid color to get that kind of effect, right? You want to, if, if, or if you want to call it the whole like, you know, evening sock with evening slipper com uh, combination, same thing there. But, you know, I, I am thinking about like how I've seen like shadow stripe socks, and usually I don't like them. 
But I think if it was done tasteful and in a way that was like more like black tie, I could be into that it. That's a good one. Like, like a like what? Uh, you'll see it on stream in a second. I, I flipped. I crashed my horse and I did a backflip. Oh, you nice! Crashed your horse. Oh. I crashed my horse. Oh. I crashed you my know, horse. I think the like a black and white oh, stripe, oh, whether it's horizontal or vertical stripe, I think would look kind of killer with black tie. I think that's kind of Ooh. something I think about, or like a black suit or something. You know, like um. One of my friends, uh, Natty Adams, who has his own, you know, made to measure business, also a great writer. He wrote I Am Dandy and We Are Dandy. Uh, he, when I met him, uh, when he was in L.A. Uh, last year or two years ago, he was wearing a black dinner suit. So it was like a black suit with, like, wide satin lapels. Um, mm -hmm. But not it. like a tuxedo. Or maybe it was, I'm not sure. It was just a black suit, but, like, with very, like, white. It was designed to kind of bridge the gap between a suit and, like, a tuxedo. And he wore that with like a horizontal striped, uh, like club collar shirt or something with like a, a fun like solid knit tie or something like that. And he was wearing a black and white block stripe, vertical block stripe sock. So it wasn't mm. like thin; it was very wide, and it looked so cool. You know, kind of got this kind of Tim Burtony, you know, Jack Skellington, Beetlejuice kind of vibe to it. But it works out because you know he is a punk guy and he loves going to shows. He's also an elegant dandy guy and it worked all together especially when i photographed him he was sitting in his friend's house and his friend's like an art collector so the house looked really cool and it just looked really nice uh all together there you know but it kind of got me thinking you know if i did do socks oh, hey, you know, we just got... socks. oh uh, thanks. No, we just got a new follow thank you uh thank you Dugani. Dugani. Dugani, Dugani. yeah welcome yeah. welcome uh, but yeah, it caught me thinking about, you know, the you know, maybe I could wear patterned socks. I, I still don't own any, but you know, maybe in the future I will. You know, what, what else do you guys think about patterned socks? I still, like I said, a no, lot of the know, ones yeah. that the the kind of like wintery heavy like boot I'm gonna socks keep, keep talking. that either have like the southwestern <laughs> pattern. So I'm gonna move my bike closer. I move my bike far away because I noticed that. Uh, I think it was picking up all my keystrokes and yes, everything yeah. on my Xbox controller. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, Can you play with an Xbox controller when you play this? Yeah, I, well, I got this because it was like 15 bucks on Amazon. It's just like a cheapo knockoff Xbox controller. Oh, yeah. So it works. Yeah, is that the Rock Candy or something like that? No, it's Voy Voye. Rock Candy was oh. sold out. It's even, it's even even more bootleg than the rock. Game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's I just, a bootleg of a bootleg. Because there are some yeah. games where I like using a controller more than I like using keyboard mouse. Um, so the <laughs> sock patterns. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I like the ones that are like the 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 classic like wintry socks that are kind of like you could compare it to a fair aisle pattern, or it just looks like one of those '30s '40s like you know knitted like winter sweaters um <laughs> or the southwestern stuff but other than that i mean i'm fine with like i said like very simple patterns so there's like a very kind of like there, there, i mean the style of sock that you would see a lot from like the 30s up until like the 50s 60s whatever it would be like a solid color but then there would be some like embroidery down the side something like that yeah, that's cool yeah i think that's pretty cool um and then maybe some, I don't know, like patterns. Yeah, it gets tricky. Nothing that's like recognizable shapes. Again, unless yeah. it's like the, unless it's like you know the winter sock, the winter like you like sock. you like the subtlety of the... exactly. But sure. you know maybe maybe some like very small like polka dots or something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would look good. <laughs> I um... stripes. I'm still what? okay with. Like I don't have any. I don't really wear striped socks anymore. But I still think yeah. those can those can work. You know, speaking of those, like I think that something that I've been entertaining was like those nineteen, like the kind of forties, maybe mid century stock socks that are that are solid, but on the side yep. they have like a kind of like a vertical. Um... <laughs> I mentioned those just like thirty oh, seconds yeah. ago, but no, yeah. exactly. Would, yeah, those I socks would, are cool. <laughs> I mean, so I was thinking Idiot. about Daddy, and I was like, you know, because he was selling some Turkish ones, but those are. Um, those are really cool. I, I think I would entertain the idea of wearing those. You know, yeah, there's some ge there's some in that vein with a geometric patterns on them that are pretty good as well. Um, Boardwalk yeah. Empire is a good for those socks. I think they uh, 
Yeah. But what I can't get into are like light socks. Like I don't think I could wear like baby blue socks or like very light yellow, like not cream, but I'm talking about like yellow socks. I don't know if mm. I could get into that because that's a very like to me reminds me of like Easter, like the Easter parade, like the New York Easter stuff. And I'm <laughs> definitely not about that life, you oh, know. No, 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 best 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 best. Him. Yeah. Those are like my most regrettable sock <laughs> in purchases. Um, like so looking at like just like all the socks it's like okay i got like a light blue i've got a hot pink i've got a light pink i've got um a light green i'm just like why did i buy these i don't oh. wear crazy mm -hmm. you know right. special leisure suits that these yeah. would work well with i wear dark suits um i'm never gonna wear these and guess what i just never do they sit in there <laughs> they don't ever get worn like I will do laundry before I will wear those socks. <laughs> it, it's that bad. <laughs> oh no! I mean, that, that, hey, like there's always gonna be stuff in your closet that you do that. Like, I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I definitely have that with some, certain Tell me. certain socks that uh, I don't like wearing. I'm like, I'd rather do laundry before I wear those. You know, like, I'd rather die. <laughs> Maybe not that far. 